Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today's part two of the advanced account checker. Uh, so previously I showed you how to set this up and get the basics working. So now in this video, it should be pretty short and simple. I'm going to be showing you how to import them, save them, and get it working a bit better than what it is. Uh, so this button here, I added that just as an example to show you. We can actually get rid of that. Uh, you shouldn't have actually added that in. But just in case you did, you can remove it. We don't need it. Uh, and before I start doing any code, I just want to get some labels. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little thing you can do here. So we can call this label total. And we can actually copy and paste it. The reason that I'm using two instead of just the, the one is because... Uh, the numbers changing and to save us constantly changing and writing total with the number we can just have a label and uh, change the label instead so we're gonna copy that or them two again and bring it over to this side so basically all this is going to do is count how many lines of text are in each one so you get an idea uh, so that will write the code for that as we're going along with the import users uh, so now we can go into the import users and inside here what we're going to do is make a file dialog so we can select our text file so what I mean by this if you go to file open and file you'll see this is an open file dialog so it's opened up and it's letting us pick a file so that's what we're going to create the way we do this is we can make a new open file dialog we can call this import dim import is equal to a new open file dialog Underneath here, we can say if import dot show dialog, so it's going to show it. If it's equal to OK, so that means the user's pressed OK, um, then they've selected a file. So now we can do something with this selected file. Um, but because we want to do something a little different than what this is usually used for, which is add these line by line into here, uh, what we want to do is create an, an array. So each line. Uh, because there's multiple lines, we need an array because there's not just one. Um, so how we do this, we can say dim all lines, and we put the brackets to let know it's array. We say as a string. Uh, let's say that is equal to system. Dot io. Dot file. Dot read all lines, and now we need to tell the file that we want to read. So uh, the way we do this is we use import because that will have the file name. So we can say dim import dot file name so basically what this is doing um, is reading all the lines of our file name and storing it into an all lines array so we can use all lines further down the line which will be now so we want to add that to a list box we'll add that to our list box one so list box one dot items dot add uh, but instead of using add we're actually going to use add range um, because there's uh, more than one thing and inside here we can say all lines like that now what that will do is add all the lines of a selected file inside um, our thing here and actually uh, what we want to do is because we only want it to be able to select text files what we can do is say import dot filter and that can be equal to a text file and if we put this little line here, a little asterisk and dot txt to let know the extension, like that, and that will be limited to text files. And we can also give it a title. So dim import, no, not sorry, import dot title, and we can just say that is uh, import user list. That will be the title, and that will be that for import. Now we want to go ahead and do save. Uh, one thing I forgot is actually we want to use these numbers, we want to change these numbers. So that is label 2. So on the import part, just under where we add it, we want to say label 2 dot text is equal to listbox1 dot items dot count. So that's going to count how many items are in the list box and uh, display it on our label. It's as simple as that. So now let's go ahead and do the save. Uh, for saving, it's pretty similar, but instead of saving, or an open dialog, we're going to be using a save dialog. 
You can say dim save is equal to a new save file dialog. Uh, and obviously, same as last time, if the save dot show dialog is equal to OK, uh, we want to do sort of the same as last time, but a tiny bit different. Uh, also, let's just quickly copy this because uh, we want to have the filters too. Actually, we'll do that after. Uh, so we want to create a new stream writer so we can actually write to a file. You can say dim s writer, and um, that'll be as an system. No, that'll be as an io dot stream writer, like that. And underneath here, s writer will be equal to a new io dot stream writer. And inside here is the file we want to write to, so it will be save.filename, like so. And underneath here, what we want to do is, we need a for loop again, because obviously we want each line, uh, similar to when we made the background worker. So for i is equal to 0, to so list box 2 this time, because it's the output, dot items, dot count, minus one so it's very similar to last time and now we want to write to the line or the write to the file so we use s writer uh, s writer dot write line and what we want to write to the line uh, is the line inside the list box so we say list box two dot items dot item this time because we want to get a specific one and we're going to use i because that is uh, part of the loop <coughs> and then just under the next here we want to close the writer because obviously we're finished with it so s writer dot close like that now that should be good to go and just like before we just want to create uh, the filter save dot filter uh, that'll be equal to text file txt and the save dot title will be equal to save output like that and uh, we want to the last thing I'll show you is how to update this number here so we can update this number when something is triggered uh, in this case we'll use the add suspended so each time one's added it will recount the numbers so that should be label four. Uh, no, it's label three. So we can say label three dot text is equal to list box. Uh, got that wrong. List box two dot items dot count, and we can copy that line like that and put that in each function that adds something to the list box. Um, so that's really it. I'm not going to be showing you how to add more so you see how we got the suspended uh, you want to do it how we did it before so you want to search for this page doesn't exist or tweets like that and you can add all that you want inside here uh, and make this all great so just remember if you add available remember to write if twitter result contains available or exists then you want to trigger this uh, function and call this function um, so that's pretty much it. Basically what we added was import and save. Um, I'll just show you how that works real quick. We can open that up, import users, it will open this up for us. We select the file names and open it and you'll see that it's opened our files here. Then you'll start checking, it will toggle through them all, uh, save them and you can just save them here. Uh, but we can save this um, how we want. Remember. If, if you remember we started checking and we did the little check uh, which I'll show you see if, if it's like that you only want to save if there is uh, input as well so you, surely you should know how to do that I've showed you methods um, so that's pretty much it for the video hope you did enjoy it there will probably not be any more parts uh, if you've got any problems just leave a comment below yeah and if you're new please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time